They're going to come around that corner, they're going to open the door, it's going to be several of them guys together. <laughs> and, then, and they're going to say, what y'all want? <laughs> and can't you hear Brother Hubbard? Uh, I'm Stanley J. Hubbard. <laughs> Can we have prayer? We want him to be blessed. Y'all know what happened to us? Y'all get a good look at him. You ain't gonna see him no more. We don't have access to the president. Even though we are black and we are Americans and he's the president, we don't have access. But when it comes to Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes, when it comes to Jesus, not only do we have access, he gives us an invitation. Lord, when do I come when you get frustrated? When do I come when you get discouraged? When do I come when your heart is broken? When do you come when you feel like you're broke? When do you come when you lose your job? When do you come when you lose your daddy? When do you come when you lose your mom? Place. 
God said, I'm going to be their God and they shall be my people. God said, I'm going to write my laws on their inward part. No, no more tables of stone like you gave Moses. Now you can have the word on the inside of you. Are you following me? He said, but I'm going to scatter them out, but one day I'll bring them all back together again. So they were divided in 931. You got the northern kingdom on one side. You got the southern kingdom on the other side. 722, the Assyrians take the northern kingdom into Assyrian captivity. In 606, 597, 586, three major invasions by the Babylonians. Yeah. The Babylonians yeah. used to be a part of Assyria. But now they're doing their own thing. They run in, take the southern kingdom into Babylonian country. What's happening? Children of Israel are being dispersed. They are going into different countries and eventually they end up in all parts of the world. But one day, God's going to bring them all back together again in one place. I don't have the time tonight, but those of them who are taking notes, and I know you've heard this preacher preach it before, you look at the Messianic prophecy. You got Isaiah chapter 2. You got Daniel chapter 2. You got Isaiah 27, 12. Jeremiah 31, 31. Jeremiah 32, verse 34 through 40. Zechariah 1, 16. Micah chapter uh, 4. Haggai chapter 2. All of this is messianic prophecy. Matter of fact, let me do Daniel 2 right quick. Daniel 2. Nebuchadnezzar has a dream. Nebuchadnezzar has a dream and it disturbs him. And he calls his soothsayers together. He says, now brethren, I, 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 I dreamed something last night. Don't remember what it was. Don't know what it means. What I want y'all to do is tell me what I dreamed. And then he said, I want you to interpret the dream. It messed me up on the inside. And they said, well, King, if you just tell us what it was, we'll interpret. He said, I just told you I don't know what I dreamed. <laughs> he said, I want you to tell me what I dreamed. And then I want you to interpret the dream. They said, King, we can't do it. He said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Your wives and your children. Yeah. Am I right? right. And Belteshazzar heard about it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Daniel heard about it and he talked that night with Mishael, Hananiah, and Asherah. And during the night, God sent the dream and the interpretation to Daniel. Yeah. Daniel went back to Nebuchadnezzar. He said, Nebuchadnezzar, you saw in your dream the image of a man, yeah. it had a head of gold. Yeah. Breast and arms of silk, belly and thighs of brass, legs of iron, feet and toes of clay and iron. Now I know that stick man's ugly, but that's not what it looks like. Yeah, he said, now that head of gold, he said, that's you. He's talking to Nebuchadnezzar. This is the Babylonians. He lets them know. He said, now you're going to be great. You're going to rise. But you're going to fall. Brass and arms of silver represented the Medo Persians. They would rise but they would fall. The Lebanon thighs of brass represented the Grecians or the Macedonians. They would rise, but they'd also fall. The legs of iron represented the Roman Empire. They would rise, but they would fall. Daniel said, you saw this terrible image, but what messed you up was you saw in the distance a mountain. Yeah. And Daniel said, out of this mountain you saw a stone cut without pain. Without hand means by the hand of God. Am I right about it? I wish I had some help over here tonight. I'm trying to show you Jesus in the Old Testament. That stone came down the mountain and literally destroyed all kings. Nothing but destruction was left. That stone was the same stone the builders rejected. That stone is the one the prophets talked about. You remember in Isaiah 28, 14? He said, Wherefore hear the word of God, you scorn from him, which rule this people which is in Jerusalem, because you said we made a covenant with death, with hell, or we had agreement, when the overflowing skirts shall pass, it shall not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge from the falsehood, have we hid ourselves. Now, go ahead and preach, Jack, all right? Therefore, thus said the Lord God, behold, I lay in time for a foundation, a stone, a tribe. Stone, a cornerstone, a sure foundation. Am I right about it? That stone destroyed this image. Daniel 2 44. In the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a king which shall not be left to other people. It shall break into pieces and consume all nations, and it shall stand forever. So you're saying, preacher, what are you talking about? God had in his mind to send his only begotten son. His son is the stone cut without hand. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, when he lived during the days of the apostles and the others, when he died on Calvary's hill, that was what Jesus, what God had in mind. He was going to die on the 
cross, he buried in the bone tomb, resurrected the yeah. next uh, third day, and then come back up into glory. Yeah. Well, when he got back up into glory, God dispatched the Holy Ghost out of heaven. Yes, sir. Yeah. I said he dispatched the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Holy Spirit came down, sat upon the apostles as tongues of cold and fire, and they preached the gospel right. to every man in their own language. That's right. What was the miracle? The miracle was they spake in tongues on the day of Pentecost and preached the gospel. Sound doctrine. Yes. Death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And what Daniel was showing is that all these kingdoms that would rise, Babylon, Medes and Persians, Macedonia, the Grecians, the Romans, nothing would last. Christ would destroy all nations, all kingdoms, yes. and there would be only one kingdom, and he is the head. Yes. He's the king. Yes. He's the president. Yes. He's the founder. Yes. He's the husband. Yes. It all belongs to him. Yes. It all belongs to him. Yes. So you say, preacher, where will I be? You will be in the church. Yes. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And he said, and the gates of hell will not prevail against me. What are you saying, Jesus? When I die on Calvary, they bury me. Hell won't hold me down. When he got up, that's when the church was ready to come into existence. He went back to glory. Holy Ghost came down from glory. And the church started in Acts chapter 2. Devout Jews from every nation under heaven were in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. Yes, sir. And they heard the preaching of the apostles in their own language. And on that day, about 3,000 obeyed the preaching of those men. Are y'all still here? Yes, sir. Give me about five more minutes and I'll quit. Listen, I've given you three good points now. Let me give you, let me give you two more and I'm going to quit. <laughs> you say, preacher, how do I get into this? church, this house, this body. God said, listen to Jesus. So Jesus says, Mark 16, 16, he that believeth and is shall what? Now that's self-explanatory. You don't need a Greek scholar to help you with that. The saved have to be baptized. You can't be baptized right until you have been taught because you've got to believe something. Didn't I start with that tonight? You've got to transfer your trust into something, and I'm telling you tonight, tra transfer it into the Word of God. Amen. He that believes. And, see, and you know what? We don't have a problem with and anywhere but right here in this text. <laughs> And is a coordinating conjunction. It connects two things. If I said to you tonight, he that believeth and he is baptized I shall receive a million dollars, it would be a line from here all the way to the highway trying to get in this pool. Y'all looking at me funny. You know you be lined up. Those of you that have been baptized, you be trying to get me baptized. <laughs> We don't have a problem, Brother Hubbard, with Anne anywhere but right here in this text. Let me prove it like this. Let me prove it like this. If I, you remember back, now we got satellite and all that stuff, but you remember those days of TV when you only had about three or four channels? Yeah. Yeah. You young people don't remember that. You old folk, y'all know. They played the national anthem at 12 o'clock at night. That means it's going on. <laughs> Back in the, the good old TV days. Yes. If I said to you tonight, Batman and Rod. 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 Some of y'all playing with me. Batman and Rod. Rod. Lone Ranger and Rod. Laverne and Rod. Sure. Tom and Jerry. Rod. You don't have a problem with the end there. And some of y'all looking at me like, I didn't watch TV. Okay, let's do food. Let's do food. <laughs> if I said peanut butter and jelly, bacon and egg, 